I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. G'day cocktail lovers, with that rather bleak intro, that's the hint of today's theme. I'm making an atomic cocktail, uh, inspired by the nuclear tests in Nevada. Specifically, this uh, date that this is going up is the date of the first nuclear test as part of the Manhattan Project. Under the codename Trinity, uh, the nuclear bomb was detonated for the first time. And that uh, line I quoted uh, was what Robert Oppenheimer was repu reputed to have quoted when the bomb went off. I'm become death, the destroyer of worlds. I have a suspicion he maybe just said that for the history books. I think his real reaction might have been, nope, fuck me, it worked. Fun fact, the scientists on the project did not know for sure what would happen when they detonated the device until they did it. They'd done the maths, they'd done the science, they were pretty sure of what would happen, but there was a lot of ambiguity of exactly how large the explosion would be. How large, you ask? Well, scientists had a sort of sweep where they all made their guess at how large the explosion would be. And the guesses or the bets ranged from nothing at all, the test will fail, through to there will be an uncontrolled chain reaction that we cannot stop, that will cascade out, spreading across the world, destroying all life. I think that guy never got invited to parties after that, because that's such a buzzkill bet to make. And they couldn't absolutely rule that out. No one really thought that would happen. I, I don't think even the guy who made that as the bet thought it would happen. But it was a theoretical possibility. And they set it off anyway. And yeah, the rest is history. The test worked and bombs were made, some were dropped, and we've got millions of the bloody things around the world today. Why am I being so frivolous as to make a cocktail? Because I like themes. Now, this one, the atomic cocktail. Folklore has it that this was actually consumed at Las Vegas uh, casinos that had a view of the test site in Nevada, and they knocked this back when they saw a mushroom cloud go up. So, without further ado, I'm going to give to you the nuclear, well, the atomic cocktail. First up, it calls for one and a half ounces of vodka. I'm actually using a little infusion of my own. I've got a bit left. This is my alien head vodka that I infused with some lemon and lime peel that I'd been making an oleo sacrum out of. That is a long convoluted explanation. This has been infused with lemon and lime peel. So it's taken on the color and some of the flavor as well. So it's a little bit special, but yeah, vodka of your choice, one and a half ounces, 45 mils. It also calls for one and a half ounces of brandy or cognac. And I've got a few to choose from. Feeling a bit patriotic, I'm using an Australian brandy, the 23rd Street Distilleries, and not your Nana's brandy. This is quite a tasty drop. I did a comparison on one of my live streams, tasting this alongside a French VSOP cognac and a French Armagnac, and just a straight up uh, French brandy and it holds up really well. They all have their own flavor profiles. It's not so much that one's better than the other. It's going to de depend on your taste, but I would not hesitate to recommend this one from the 23rd Street Distillery. There's also uh, one and a half ounces, 45 mils going in. The final ingredient going in the shaker is sherry. Just half an ounce in this case. Uh, dry sherry is called for and we will put half an ounce in the shaker and give it a good old shake. This, by the way, is not all the ingredients of the cocktails, but this is all the ingredients that are going in a shaker. We're just gonna shake it long enough to get them nice and cold, and I'll be pouring it into a chilled glass. When it's nice and cold, strain it into our suitably stylish and pre-chilled glass. As I said, this is not all the ingredients. Traditionally, this should now be topped with an ounce or so of brute champagne. Two problems for me on that front. I don't have any champagne in the house. I also don't like champagne or sparkling wine generally, but I'm going to improvise. 
keeping up my patriotic vibe, I'm going to top it with uh, some sparkling cider. This is a very local to me cider, produced just past Geelong on the Bellarine Peninsula. Short drive away from, well, an hour's drive from where I live. And this is way up one of my favorite ciders, the Flying Brick uh, Brewery, Cidery? What do we call it when they make cider? Is it a cidery or a brewery? It's brewed, we'll call it a brewery. Um, but yeah, this is their draft cider. And so just a little top up, the bubbles are meant to give it the atomic zing. It's meant to be you know, bubbling for the atomic vibe. And now, uh, let's see how exclusive the taste is. Well, that's really quite good. I do not regret putting the cider in that. There, there is a really good balance of the flavors. Uh, the brandy, the, uh, the the sherry is not hidden. I, I can taste even though it's a small amount of cider I put in. I actually really like the cider taste, which I guess is not a million, a, a dryish cider is not a million miles removed from a dryish uh, sparkling wine. And I'm also, with what I've done, getting a little bit of citrus zing from the infusion I made. But overall, like I said, possibly slightly dodgy to be this frivolous with <laughs> the atomic bomb that I couldn't resist, the atomic cocktail. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Hey, let me know if you give it a try uh, or if you're completely affronted or on board with me substituting cider instead of champagne. That's just the way I roll. Love to hear from you. I hope you come back for some more. I'll be making many, many, many more cocktails on this channel and having a bit of fun. Love to share it with you. So if you're not already subscribed, do the subscription thing. Hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded the video. Maybe tell your friends. There's some good ideas in here. We have a bit of fun and Hey, you can go on my Angry Aussie channel and join some of the live streams I do. We have a bit of fun there too. But I'm going to finish this off now. And woe is me, I'll have to finish my bottle of cider as well. So I'll leave you with that thought. I hope you take care and atomic cheers to you.